Hi, my precious people. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am delighted. I'm glad. I'm grateful to my creator for giving me an opportunity to bring to you the word of God, which is everlasting word. The word of God, which is always true. The word of God, which is perfect. In the book of Romans chapter 15, verses 13, the Bible says, But the God of hope filled you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may believe and abound in, the, in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Then God of hope filled you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound through the power of the Holy Spirit. So God is a God of hope. He wants us to be filled with all joy and peace. And this peace comes in believing, in believing in His Son, Jesus Christ. And when we believe, we have hope in Him. And this hope comes through the power of the Holy Spirit. So if you are there and you have no joy, know that God is the one who gives us joy. And he desires that we may be filled with all joy and peace in believing. Who is the source of peace? Christ Jesus is the Prince of Peace. So it is in him that we get peace. And the peace which we get in him, nobody will take it away from us. Indeed, Jesus said that I have overcome the world. Be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. John chapter 16 verses 33. So Christ has overcome the world for you. So he desires that you may enjoy the goodness of the Lord. You may have all joy. And this joy comes through faith in his son Jesus Christ. My prayer to you is that you will have all joy and peace. Because in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. It is in him that we are complete. Him here it is Christ. In Christ Jesus, all things were created. The, the things which are visible, the invisible, the things which are in heaven, the things which are on earth, whether it be powers, principalities, authorities, dominion, all things were created in him and for him, as we see in the book of Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. So when you have Christ in you, you have the fullness of joy, because it is through him that all things were created. It is a wonderful thing. It is a glorious thing to be in Christ Jesus. So I'm calling upon everybody who has not connected to Savior to connect it to him. And once you connect it to him, you, you are assured victory. You are assured justification. Romans chapter 1, verse 15, it says, being justified by faith, therefore we have peace with God. So through Christ Jesus. So when you have Christ Jesus in you, you have peace because you are justified. Justified here means you are not counted of any error which you ever did because Christ took it on his body. So in Christ Jesus, we are justified. We are acceptable. We can access God and God is the source of all peace. So Christ is the source of all peace. And in Christ, we live and we move and we have our being. That is why in this channel, we focus on the truth. Truth is the word of God. John chapter 8 verse 32 says, And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. F freedom comes by knowledge. And the knowledge which will give you freedom, it is the knowledge of the truth. And this knowledge of the truth, it is the word of God. John chapter 17 verse 17, Jesus declared, Father, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is the truth. To sanctify means to, to set apart, to cleanse, to purify for, for God's use. So in, in Christ Jesus, we have all joy. In Christ Jesus, we have all peace. Why? Because Christ is the one who created all things. And in him, actually, we are victorious. And there is nothing which will separate us from the love of God. Even as the Apostle Paul declares in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses that the seven, that there is nothing which will separate us from the love of God. So what is your responsibility? What is your take in this joy? This joy which God has given you. God has given you this joy so that it may overflow 
to the others. God has given us this peace so that it may flow to other people. Actually, in the in the book of Matthew, we read about them the attitude that we should be peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers. Happy are the peacemakers. Prosperous are the peacemakers. So God wants us to be peacemakers. Where there is no peace, we want God to desire us that we may be the source of peace. Where there is no joy, God desires us that we may be the source of peace joy. So God is looking for you so that you may be the light, so that you may be the salt of the world to the glory and the honor of his name. So God has called us that we may live a life of love because God is love. Actually, we read in the book of John, first John chapter 4, verse 8, it tells us that God is love. So the nature of God is that of love. And since you are created in the image of God and in the likeness of God, once now you have that all joy, when you have all peace, then the love of God overflows from you to other people. Actually, Christ declared that when we do what he does, then we are his disciples. And he declared in the, in, in, in the book of John chapter 15, verses 14, that we are his disciples if we do that which he commands us to do. And he declared that greater love as no man soon done than this, than to lay is down for his brethren. So we are to love one another. We are to do what Christ tells us to do. So the joy which God has given you, the victory which God has given you, the peace which God has given you, it is going to overflow to other people. So may God help us so that you may live a life of abundance so that you may live a life of praising God and glorifying God. And, and know that when you are, in, you are in Christ Jesus, you are complete in Christ Jesus. And this Christ Jesus, he is the one who has given us victory. And he is the Prince of Peace. So our peace is complete in Christ Jesus. So, so God bless you and may you be part and the parcel of the learning which you continues to learn from the word of God which has been really encouraging us. So if you are there and you are new, welcome to this channel, which focuses on the truth, truth found in the word of God. So today we have seen that uh, God is a God of hope. And this God of hope, he is the one who fills us with all joy. All joy means in every aspect of our life, God makes us rejoice in all sectors in everything that we do. And he is the one also who gives us all peace. So if you have no peace in you, connect to him. Ask and he is going to give you that peace which comes from him. And this peace and this joy comes through believing in his son Jesus Christ. And this faith comes through the power of the Holy Spirit who is in us and who works in us both to do and to will. So God be with you and keep you and sustain you in his love. My prayer to us is that we shall rejoice all the time because in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy and because we have the Prince of Peace in us. No matter what happens, the one in us is greater than the one who is in the world and he will always give us peace that surpasses human understanding. So don't be anxious about anything. In everything, by prayer, and thanksgiving. Make your request be known to your Father. And then the peace of God that surpasses human understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. So there is peace of God. And this peace of God, there is no person who can really comprehend it. Nobody can really understand the peace which God gives his people. So if you are, you are facing some difficulties in this season of your life, go before the Lord with thanksgiving, with the praises, with prayer and make your request be known to him. And once you do that, then he's going to give you a peace which can which cannot be understood by any person. And this peace will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. That is Philippians chapter 4, verses 8. And verses 7, sorry, Philippians chapter 4, verses 7. It is the one which says that, that you should not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer, and supplication with thanksgiving, we make our request be known unto God. And the peace of God that surpasses, surpasses means it is greater than any human understanding, we regard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. I believe if our heart are guarded and our mind are guarded, then we are going to enjoy all joy, as the scripture has told us, all joy will be our portion in the name of Jesus. So may the Spirit of God. Help us 
so that at all time the peace of God can guard our heart and our mind in Christ Jesus. Once our mind are guarded, then it means we are going to think soberly. We are going to have sound mind. We are going to have a, a sober mind, a mind to make the right decision, a mind to make godly decision, and we are going to live a fulfilling life in each and every aspect of our life. That is our portion in the name of Jesus. For God has given us the, the mind which is sober, the mind of sound judgment, the mind of courage, the mind of of, of thinking and fulfilling God's purpose in our life. I, you are blessed of the Lord, and remember that all joy is your person in the name of Jesus, all peace is your person in the name of Jesus, and we are supposed to abide in hope in our God. There is hope for you through faith in His Son, Jesus Christ, and through the power of the Holy Spirit, who is working in us, both to do and to will that which our Father requires. So God be with you and keep you, even as we continue learning from the Word of God, which is alive, which is active, which is powerful, which is the only one, which is able to divide both the thought and the intent of the mind of a person. God be with you, and you are blessed of the Lord. Welcome to my channel. My channel name is Luke Aaron, and God is going to continue leading teaching us, correcting us, rebuking us, and making us to become more of his son in, in all the days of our life. Bye-bye. See you next time as we continue learning together for the glory and the honor of our God. Amen and amen.